Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It is Mr. Bookman, and today I'm going to be reading When Pumpkins Fly by Margaret Lawrence, illustrated by Amanda Sandland and Margaret Lawrence. Please enjoy this story time. When Pumpkins Fly On the last cargo plane to fly into our community before Halloween, there are boxes, crates, and bags of groceries, snowmobile parts, and mail. At the back of the cargo held, there is also some passengers. They aren't wearing seat belts to keep them from rolling around because the seats have been took, taken out of the plane. The passengers are heavy, hard, cold, and orange. This is the time of the year when pumpkins fly. After the pilot land, lands, land the plane and open the door, a truck pulls up, fill of cargo is loaded into the back, into the truck. Soon a pilot closes the door, the engines start, and the plane flies away. The cargo truck heads to the store before the groceries freeze. Our school principal has heard the plane fly overhead. She calls the store to speak with the manager. Please send some pumpkins to, uh, to the school as soon as possible, she says. That means as soon as possible. When the pumpkins arrive... Some older children, I mean students, help to bring a pumpkin to each of the classrooms. I look at our orange, big orange guest. What kind of thing is a pumpkin? What we, what are we going to do with it? Some of the, you may already know about pumpkins. Each pumpkin is different. Will this pumpkin be funny, spooky, silly, or scary? <clears throat> when school is almost over, after we have carved a face out the pumpkin, eaten raw pumpkin seed insides, and baked pumpkin seeds and cleaned up, the real excitement begins. Someone will get to take the pumpkin home with them and put it on their porch for Halloween night. We get ready to pick a name from our teacher's mug where we have put all of our names. The teacher pulls out a slip of paper and reads my name. I carry the pumpkin home carefully and place it on my porch steps. It gets dark, dark soon after we get home from school. It's time to have tea and bennack and put on our boots, coats, and costumes. Light the candle and the pumpkin. Tonight's the night for trick-or-treaters fun. There are kids, teens, elder parents with babies, and toddlers all out trick-or-treating. It's fun to go to every house. Our, our bags full of candy are heavy to carry when the wind is blowing hard. When we collected all... We can carry, so we go home for more tea, maybe we'll have candy, 
pork chops, fish, or goose soup to eat. We go to the community hall. There's a dance tonight for everybody. A costume parade. A costume contest. There are games to join in too. After all the fun, we go home. It's very late when we get to sleep. As I drift off, I think about the fun Naf who live out in the land. Halloween is a night to think about these ancients and wise beings that like to visit our community. When the night is dark, the ton nettles are awake. <clears throat> the wind blows harder, and the candle in the pumpkin burns out. The, the pumpkin begins to change. It becomes wrinkled and shivered. Then the pumpkin is frozen. <coughs> maybe foxes and ravens will come to eat it. Or maybe snow will cover it. When the ton nata come to our community, they like to come at night. They go in they go into and out of houses, the stores, the schools, anywhere. They are looking for things they need. Maybe just maybe Ton Nat Ta will come tonight and carry the pumpkin away. Maybe Ton Nata will take the old pumpkin with them back out to the land on the land. But what will the ton Nata do with an old pumpkin? Time ma the end until pumpkins fly away. Well, see, the pumpkins didn't fly, <laughs> only in the plane they did. That's the only way they got to fly, was in the, inside a plane. <laughs> well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this Halloween story. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new and came along this story time, hit that red subscribe button down below. And please subscribe to my channel. Well, again, everyone, y'all take it easy out there and have a good one. And please let me know what school are you watching me from out there. I know there's schools that might enjoy these, so what school are you from? Let me know in the box below, or I know you can't talk, but somehow you... You can message me. Well, please do that. Let me know. And what school are you, you at? But until next time, everybody, you all take it easy out there and have a good one. And please be safe. And this is Mr. Bookman, and this story time is over.